But I guess that's what the globalists want. They already aborted half the blacks. Man, this is mind control, folks. This is evil. And either Farrakhan's gone crazy or he's working for the New World Order. Because, uh, you know, this is just crazy. Let's go to this clip. I'm not even play it again. I got to go to phone calls, but I, 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 I'm not forgotten about that. It's, I've not forgotten about that. It's just, this is, these people are going out and killing cops and other people and beating up white people in neighborhoods for no reason because Louis Farrakhan said this. And Louis Farrakhan is putting the same stuff out as the White House and George Soros. And Farrakhan looks completely crazy there. Like he's, Farrakhan, when I talked about 1776, they take the guns, he loved it. So I think Farrakhan actually wants to have a, a big war. And uh, when I said 1776, I meant if you come for the guns, like Lexington and Concord is going to start, not go out and stalk people and kill them. Uh, what do you make of this, Larry Nichols? And then we're going to these callers. Well, number one, they are. I mean, this is not accidental, Alex. If it were accidental, if they didn't want it, don't you know they can make one phone call, have the federal government go arrest him, shut him down, and nobody would make these kind of comments ever Well, again. folks would say that his followers, the millions, would, would riot, but that's not true. The globalists know how to no. kill him with a microwave gun across the street. They'll cook him in his bedroom if they want. If they wanted him shut up, I assure you, not much on this earth I know, but he would be shut up. So if somebody is not being shut up, then you and I can only, only realize that they want it out. And look, I know it doesn't sound right, and I know there are millions and millions of black way this kind of attitude, nor would they endorse or even want this kind of attitude, but you better wake up. Now, guys, I'm telling you, this thing's coming. It's coming. No, hold on, your mic's breaking up. Your Skype's breaking up. Larry Nichols. I gotta get to these calls. I tell you, you I, I start looking at this, and man, I told you I had a bad feeling six months ago, and now it's getting worse. I mean, now we know what it is. War with Russia, race wars, collapsing economies. Welcome to the New World Order. I'm gonna have Rob doing the next segment of I haven't gotten all these calls. Continue with the calls throughout the entire hour. The fourth hour's back, and now it's a aftermath, breaking news analysis, starting five days a week now. So that's five hours more of transmission per week in the globalist face. Joshua in Tennessee, thanks for holding. You're a trooper. You're on the air with Larry Nichols. Go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. I'm here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I was just reading the Mercury, which is our local independent newspaper, uh, last week. And there was the first Black Lives Matter uh, meeting a couple of weeks ago at a performance arts little studio. There was about 100 people there, and in the paper it stated that they asked that even though over 50% of the people there, so I'm a little out of breath, I was riding my bike, uh, were white, or not black anyway, they asked them not to sign up for the mailing list, that they only want black individuals and the Black Lives Matter. Well, yeah, it's extremely racist. I mean, that's the fact. Uh, what was the name of the headline of that article? I want to pull that up. That's interesting. It was Black Lives Matter meeting in Knoxville. It was uh, It's called the Knoxville Mercury. I know they have... No, I know the paper... I, I know the paper yeah. says Black Lives Matter. What's the exact headline? Uh, I don't know. I, I, Black Lives Matter, Knoxville, I believe, is, is the exact headline. Right, Knoxville uh, Mercury. We'll, uh, we'll look it up, sir. Very interesting. Anything else? To go. Uh, that's about it, really. Other than that, the vaccine situation. I have a friend of mine that was just telling me the other day her son just got vaccines, and now he can't walk right. Oh. Uh, a friend of hers, the baby died uh, the, day, the very day that he, he got the vaccines. It was a premature baby, and they pumped him full of vaccines, and he died that night. So, you know, it's... Yep. Uh, I, I tried We've to had the nurses on. on. We've had the nurses on when they go. This is going to kill the baby. And the hospital says, fire at will, Commander. But nobody's mad about that. How about babies' lives matter? No, no, it's all just absolutely. And, and, and then now her son gets it, and he can't walk. And that's a fact. I mean, this, this stuff goes on all over the place, and they just sit there going, safe and effective, safe and effective. God bless you. Appreciate your call.
Makes me sick, folks. They're going after the new generation. They're targeting us all while we're at each other's throats. Larry Nichols is our guest. Doug in Minnesota, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Hey, Larry. How you doing? Uh, um, pretty freaked you out. You guys are, are amazing. I have 20 grandkids, and right now you guys are saving their lives along with all these other kids whose parents aren't smart enough to wake up. They're so involved on their cell phones and everything that they don't realize what's going on, and they're they're letting their families die, basically. Um, on this deal in Chicago, that Fox Lake is real high-end. I mean, there are some mansions there, and I'm thinking that's why they've got the lockdown, is to prevent it from spreading out anywhere else in that area. So it's... Yeah, the whole thing is ridiculous. If well, if it can. ends up being racially motivated, I hope MSNBC and Louis Farrakhan are happy. You know, black people, I, I, I don't get it. I got black friends that say the same thing. They said, this is all a setup. Don't, Everybody don't I know that's black says the same thing. Everybody I know gets it. That's what I mean. I don't get, thank you for the call, great points. Larry, they just, that's the thing is it seems like the establishment doesn't even care if we know. They're just going ahead with it as a cover story. Yeah, you know, Alex, it's something that we did back when I was with Clinton. We cleverly called it, instead of brainwashing, we called it social engineering. And that's what we're, that's what's happening to us, and it's really happening to our youth. Now, folks, I'm going to tell you, look at what they're doing with our words. They're fixing it to where half the stuff in our language we can't say. But, Alex, if you look at the words they exclude, they all connect to the takeover of our country. They're words that would... If, if we still have those words in our vocabulary, then our young know from where we came. And they're erasing where we came That's from. That's why they're buddy. getting rid of boy and girl, father and mother. This is a cult takeover. It is. And, Alex, you know, I, I've got to say this about the video that you did. Sorry about the bulldog chipping in. Uh, thank you for what you sent to me. That was a huge want people to know that I don't. I don't come on here. No, no. Thank you, brother. We're going to talk to you again very, very soon. We'll interview you the day we premiere uh, this new documentary. But Larry Nichols, thank you so much. God bless you. Rob, who's coming up? We are live here. This is the fourth hour of the Alex Jones Show. I am hosting now. This is Rob Dew, uh, riding shotgun, Jakari Jackson. And uh, Joe Biggs is going to be joining us at the bottom of the hour. He is uh, actually listening to the police scanner audio of what's going on up in Illinois, just north of Chicago. So what I'm looking at now, actually, somebody just sent me this. Uh, I get a lot of emails from our tipsters. This one came from Glenn. And uh, the article, it's uh, from the San Antonio Express News. Video shows San Antonio man shot by sheriff's deputies while his hands are up. And we're going to go to show you some of this video. I don't know if this will end up making it on YouTube. The the sensors there are going crazy anytime you yeah. show any type of uh, anytime shooting. we show it. Right? Yeah, it's 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 bad. But you can go on actually find the there's there's a suicide video of a guy who who he was a congressman named Bud Dwyer and from the state of Pennsylvania who was caught in this corruption stuff. He shoots himself in the head on live during a news conference, and that video is still on YouTube, and yeah. it's graphic, more graphic than anything we've ever shown. But let's go back to this uh, this article. Video shows San Antonio man shot by sheriff's deputies while his hands are up. The uh, video published in its entirety shows two Bexar County uh, deputies opening fire and killing a man who appears to be standing still with his hands up. Now, I watched some of this video that we're going to roll real quick. Go, go and pull that video back up and show that. That was from KSAT. And uh, the video there is from Michael Thomas. You can see this guy kind of walking around uh, before he was over near his house. Now, the deputies are coming out to talk to him. The guy shooting this in his cell phone moves into a little bit better uh, location, but you can clearly see, it's, look, there his hands are up, and boom, he is shot right there on the spot. Hands are up, the guy is not moving. Mm -hmm. Now, this, the guy doesn't appear to be black, African American. I think somebody said he was Hispanic. Uh, they, uh, I'm not sure if they've released his name yet. In these two articles, they actually Gilbert Flores is his name, 41 year old suspect, was shot outside his home on the uh, 2400, 24,000 block of Walnut Pass. Yeah, but, you know, uh, talking about this racial issue, which, yeah, racial issues do exist, but I'm reminded of that video from a few months ago. I can't remember what city it was, but it was two black men in a vehicle. They're pulled over by, by a black officer. One of the guys gets out the vehicle with his hands up and gets shot. 
yeah. by the cop. Yeah. You know, so they always say it's some racial deal. No, it, you can well, just encounter a police officer of any color. The deputies, Greg Vasquez and Robert Sanchez. So it looks yeah. like they're all Hispanic, um, you know, so there won't be any protests and burnings in San Antonio over this. But the guy clearly had his hands up. I mean, that is definitely something that's going to be and it needs to be investigated. We need to let the rule of law take place. And if it comes out that these guys are exonerated, um, you know, I don't know what's going to happen then. But that well, is clearly that's the reason why we have these issues. You know, right. going back to uh, Kelly Thomas out in California, you know, the guy was beaten to death. You know, he's a white guy beaten to death on camera over the course of 20 minutes. And then we hear all this jargon, how we need body cameras. Like, well, you have this on video. Why don't you do something about mm -hmm. it? And then I heard something about like one of the officers went to CC's pizza and he got kicked out. That's probably the worst thing that happened to him. He didn't serve any time in jail. Right. Well, and, and, and it was a gun thing. They said they didn't like him open carrying his, uh, his firearm, which is ridiculous. You would think you would want a police officer at your establishment in case something were ever to happen. Um, now, I want to go to a... Quick report by Joe Biggs. He's actually monitoring the stuff, as I said, on uh, police uh, scanner at this time. So let's roll that. And then uh, Joe's going to be joining us at the bottom of the hour. We've got Hillary Clinton news. We've got all kind of stuff. We're going to be doing the fourth hour here for, uh, I guess, the rest of our lives. We're going to be doing that fourth hour live. So I, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I love it. Let's roll that report. Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com. Now, there's currently a manhunt underway in Fox Lake, Illinois, for three suspected cop killers. Now, right around 8 a.m. this morning, a Fox Lake police officer was shot and killed, and now there's this huge, massive manhunt, much like in Watertown, uh, Massachusetts, that happened with the Boston bombings. There's uh, reports of police going door-to-door -door looking for these suspects, and essentially the entire uh, area of Fox Lake is on lockdown, including schools and other businesses as well. Now, the officer was pursuing people described as suspicious around 8 a.m. Tuesday, according to Lake County Under Sheriff Raymond Rose. Officers responding to the scene to help the officer found him in a marshy area, stripped of his gun and other equipment, and the officer has died on the scene now the police have just established a perimeter in that area trying to look for the one black male and two white males who are the suspects in this shooting. Police, with the help of U.S. Marshals, were searching woods and businesses in the area, authorities said. Now the police released a statement saying that if residents see anybody in the area that doesn't belong or doesn't look right, they should call 911 and report them. The search prompted officials at Grant Community High School to put their building on lockdown. Grant Community High School is currently in a lockdown at the request of the Fox Lake Police Department. Now this killing of a police officer comes two days after a police officer was killed in the Houston area at a Cypress gas station. Officer Goforth was executed by a lone gunman. Now, there have been numerous cop killings that have happened in Louisiana, too, over the last few months. So what's going on? What's prompting this? This is something that we're going to continue to keep an eye on because this is a story that is unfolding. It's still going on. I've got my police scanner out. We're going to be listening for updates, and we'll keep you guys informed. Stay tuned to InfoWars.com. Joe Biggs, and he's going to be here at the bottom of the hour at 2.30 Central and joining us to talk about any new developments that might might have happened. Yeah, it, and when we talk about these police shootings, we had a chance to talk about this a little bit more in, a, or in Overdrive the other day. When you have uh, these continuous things, we already see the police out there. They have MRAPs and the heavy armor and all these other armaments. This is just giving them more purpose. Or you see, you see this, you see that. We need yeah. more of this stuff. Yeah. And then it could get to the point where the, your standard patrol car is an MRAP. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. And this is something that we've been documenting. Um, even before I got here, I got here in 2009. One of the first big uh, trips I went on was the uh, G20 yeah, going on in that. Pittsburgh, and there were MRAPs everywhere. They started uh, hitting everybody with the sound cannon, mm -hmm. and it was the first time the sound cannon had been used on American citizens. And now it's like, no big deal. We got sound cannons. We got yeah, used gas. in Ferguson, you know, every exactly. place else. Exactly, and they these it's it's incidents like these that give them the excuse to want to ramp up uh, their you know their arsenal. Yeah. And it's uh, it's really it's really disturbing to see it go in that direction. But also at 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 the same time, you know, the cop killings are going to get hyped up on the news. Uh, shootings like like this other one of this man in San Antonio are going to get hyped up. I, I think this just hit the wire uh, about four hours ago. 
when they finally released. It looks like they released a video on, uh, updated it on August 